Now we're going to set it up so that the uh, enemy player, when he touches you, he kills you. Okay, so we need to add that code. And we're also going to do it on the main blueprint for the that character. So I'm going to double check. Uh, you know, this is obviously like a beginner way to do it, but I think for for uh, students, you know, high school students, it's quite appropriate and it works well. So to move around in the uh, blueprint, well, before I do that, I want to click on capsule. Capsule shows up. And uh, to move around, I'm going to just zoom in with my mouse. And spacebar and right click allows you to move. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scroll down here and go on component on begin overlap so on begin overlap of the capsule what is going to happen so we're going to start by adding that in here and then on begin overlap we're going to cast this to first person uh, character so whenever uh, this happens to so cast to first person character so i'm looking for that one there it is so we need to link uh, this right here and again, spacebar, right mouse. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say destroy the actor. Okay, so it's going to destroy my player. So one of the other things this is also going to do is uh, respawn on the same level, which is what we want to do. So there's my destroy actor uh, and destroy self. So we're also going to give this a delay just so that, you know, the second... They go over you you're not dead immediately because if that would kind of not be fun so you always have to think about how do i make this fun okay um so basically i'm just going to move this over so let's go and type delay all right so i'm going to go click here and i'll say even 1.5 seconds so give it a little bit of time so you can back up and move around make it you know and you probably want to test this to make sure it works so in here, what I want to do is uh, execute console command, which is, this is what we need to uh, respawn. So I'm going to bring that up here, console command. And okay, so what we're going to do here, I just need to fix something. So uh, under the command here, you, you give it the command you would like to, to do. So it's restart level. So type that in exact same with capital letter and L with a capital here, it's very important, otherwise it won't work. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press play and test it out. So I'm gonna have to go here and um, character should second here. So I'm just gonna go move over. I don't wanna shoot the bear when he's coming at me. I wanna test if the duration is long enough to, to you know, when I die. So boom, and I start. So you could make an explosion or something happen there, but uh, so when you die, something happens and you're animated. And so it actually works, so we're happy with that. So now your game has quite a bit going on in it. And one of the things you may want to consider is to, you know, once you program one bear, you can actually start adding quite a few bears in. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of ways to do this, but the simplest way, I think, is just to drop more bears in randomly. Okay, and you know, as you move around in your level, you'll run across these different bears, and and then your job will be to you know defend yourself basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press play here. I got two more bears. So whatever you do, test, play, test whatever it is that you're doing. You know, even if he doesn't see me, I can shoot this guy. Now one problem I already noticed is if I'm shooting too many bears that animation will play over and over so you probably have to try to figure out some code so and you know the other thing that's not too fair is the bears vision is not that good so maybe one thing I, I want to do is uh, you know fix my blueprint so I'm going to double click here and I'm going to go back here and I'm going to click on pawn sensing and you know maybe he doesn't see that far so it's not really fair to him and he's just getting you know, beaten up pretty badly. And maybe I want to expand this so he sees a little more where I'm coming from. So, you know, you want to play test your game to make sure that it works. And you're basically in that mode now where you're starting to add different things, finishing your decorating, like I noticed on this level, which I should have showed you earlier on, but I can change the material. So I'm going to just put a grass, you know, level. So um, make it look, well, 
there's none. So okay, let's let's just try uh, a default Lambert. No, that won't be very nice. That'll be so you know just add. Let's make it look like wood. It'll be kind of odd, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. If you have any questions, please let me know.